<laughs> it's a joke that they, they, that's told like, I laugh, you laugh. I cry, you cry. I jump off a bridge, you watch me jump off a bridge. Now, that's the way we joke, but that ain't the way we live. We bridge, we jumping off a bridge, just trying to be like everybody else. We think that we're, we're, we're not like the world, but we don't really understand. Like we think Christianity is just all about getting saved. Christianity rules every aspect of your life. Christianity has something to say about the way you dress. Christianity has something to say about the way you talk, about the way you walk, about the, the places you go, about the relationships you have. Christianity is not God first, then family, then school, then friends, then work. That's not Christianity. Christianity is God, God and family, God and relationships, God and school, God and friends. God wants to invade every aspect of your life, so you got to have your mind altered. So you walking around like, well, girl, you see them jeans? Everybody wearing them. I know you can see my calf muscles in them, but everybody got them on. Yeah, I know, but, but everybody wearing them, no. But do you notice how six dudes' hands turn every time you walk by? Are you causing your brother to stumble? Think about it. I'm not saying, hey, I'm just telling you to think about it. I'm just saying, think about it. Fellas, everybody looks, all guys look. I mean, man, I'm not a man if I don't look. I gotta look. What does the Bible say? Job 31 and 1. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look at a woman lustfully. What does the Bible say? I'm just saying what it says. I'm just, I'm saying what it says. So we like to take our cues from the world and not take our cues from the Bible. And in the end, it jacks us up. In the end, we get messed up thinking that we, we don't know what we're doing. So this is the way I like, I, I just want to encourage y'all. Don't just go off your feelings. That's the way the world lives. They go off their feelings. Somebody slap you in the face, you get mad, you feel like punching them, so you do, right? That's how the world rolls. She looks cute, she walk by, you feel like looking, you look. That's how the world does. But we're not guided by our feelings, we're guided by the scriptures. Being guided by your feelings and your instinct is worldly, is carnal. It seems right, it feels right, but in the end, it leads you to death. Yeah. Let me give you an example, right? Here's a real, a real example. Instinct, right? Don't follow your instinct. I don't follow my instinct because my instincts, right? <laughs> now, instinct is what gets animals killed, right? Alaskan wolves, you know how they kill them? They use their instinct. They take a knife, they dip it in some blood. They let the blood freeze. They dip it in some more. They let the blood freeze. They dip it in some more. They let the blood freeze. Then they stick the knife in the snow with the blade up. The wolf gets the smell of the blood like, oh, blood. I smell blood. Where that blood at? Hold on, what's the blood? My instinct say, oh, there it is. He finds the knife. He just gets to licking it and licking it and licking it and licking it. And it's good. He's like, mm, this is good. This is blood. I love blood. It's good. <laughs> then he licks all the frozen blood off the blade and cuts his own tongue. Now, you would think he would say, oh, that hurt, man, I'm tripping, I'm out of here, they tricked me. Uh-uh, his instincts get him jacked up. His instincts say, warm blood. Where does warm blood come from? Oh, this is good, I want more, I want more. And he keeps on licking, drinking his own blood until he dies. That's how they kill him. They use their instinct. That's how Satan will kill you as well.